We're here three to five today. All right, so I have number 35. If you're going to spend the day with the McGrath sisters, the female forces behind Red's Good Vibes food truck, it's best to come pre-caffeinated because these women on a mission hit the ground running each and every day. Come on, come on. I'm here to catch you. From the outside, this may look like your typical food truck operation. Trailer, check. Menu planning, check. Yeah, I mean, how many slices do you think is Perm in a turkey? Okay. Well, I guess you have to know how much they weigh. I don't know, it's like this. <laughs> Groceries, check. But Red's Good Vibes Food Truck doesn't sell food, they give it away. We're gonna serve three to five today. No, that's fine. Yeah, do you want a cookie though? We got cookies. Today we're serving mac and cheese, we're making a from scratch chicken noodle soup, and then we're doing sausage, peppers, and onions. A small uh, family founded, family run nonprofit. And it is our, what we do is we provide free meals year round um, to really anybody, um, anybody in, in need. We serve seniors, we serve those experiencing homelessness, veterans, families, and we like to give that food truck experience to everybody. They give the food away because that's what their little brother would have done. So Red uh, was the nickname of our brother, um, our youngest brother, and he passed away about four years ago. And we really wanted to honor him in a way that made sense and provided to, you know, a legacy for him and uh, a way to spread the good vibes. He was very philanthropic, um, just caring and considerate and fun and funny and creative, um, loved to share his gifts with, with others. Red loved to cook and dreamed of opening a food truck one day. That's why we wear tie-dye, mm -hmm. and that's why we play music, and that's why this is uh, the food truck experience, right? We bring that fun element, and you know, part of that is to reduce the stigma and lower right. the barriers of, of, you know, and that hesitation of reaching out for assistance. Right. But the other part of it is because it's organically who he was, and it's what yeah. he would like. We play yeah. his playlist, the songs that remind him, you know, us of him, and uh, you know. Yeah. And we cook family, recipes. Yeah. Caitlin and Megan, nurses by trade, now spend their days behind the grill, lifting up the good vibes that Red can't anymore, because that's what big sisters do. We want to say thank you to you guys for today. Yeah. <laughs> but he would be really proud of what we're doing. And he's here. <laughs> and he would love this, so we love you guys. Yeah. Thank you for doing this with us yeah. today. Aww. Now let's serve some food. Yeah. Now get out there and get to work. Yeah. All right, get to work. Let's put the flag up. Come on, Meg. Yeah. Game on. Big Brother Mike is also a major part of the operation. Mike yes, is the best. Involved. Yeah. Um, uh, he he takes over the entire maintenance of this thing. He does all of our permitting. He does the health inspections. Um, he is involved with the financials and all of that stuff. I don't think anybody really realizes goes into it, this. Right. When we say family run, family operated, um, that includes all of our volunteers. That includes everybody. They become family. The patrons of the truck, the supporters, the donors, and the people that are out here boots on the ground with us. At the Dover Amtrak station, the RGV trailer is a welcome sight. 
I'll drive by here one day and, and I can smell this food cooking over here and I had no money on me at the time and I said, he said, come on over and get something to eat. We have really lucked out. Um, the cities have like welcomed us with open arms and really rolled out the red carpet. Number 27. If someone is in need, they know that we are there, that we're not going to ask any questions, that the help is coming and it's coming in a package that doesn't make you feel bad for it. They also serve in Hampton, Summersworth, Rochester, and hope to be popping up in more towns soon because this truck doesn't shut down when the flakes start to fly. All, All seasons. seasons. Like the post office. Yes. Rain. So, so I think our first event, was it February? Yep. It was chilly. It was chilly. It was chilly. But I mean, you know, nine degrees, degrees are out here. Nine, we're out here. Yep. Happily, though, with a smile. You just Rain. adapt. Sue! Do you want a soup? Megan made it from scratch. Everybody we meet, we really try to connect with in a way that makes them want to be part of what we do. I've been here like two or three times, and one one time uh, late, but it's inspiring. So like it, it's it's more it's inspiring that like people are getting involved in their community. They're definitely good vibes. They're definitely good vibes. For these siblings, the work is just beginning but their leap to be brave and do things differently is already paying off in the ways that count. It's just going to sleep every night, knowing that you are following your dream, that you're doing it the way that you set out to do it. There's a freedom and a peace with that. Yeah, it's, you're giving the good vibes, but we also get them. Mm -hmm. Like we're getting them back too. Yeah. You're so welcome. Utensils are in there, okay? Awesome. Grab a napkin, some goodies. Double rainbow. Double rainbow.